Hi guys, it's Michelle here from Mickey Art. Um, I'm going to have a play with something today. I've got a jug here that's, some of you may be familiar with this jug. This is my gravy jug. Um, but what I'm going to use it for today is to mix up a pouring medium mix. And um, I'm going to mix some paints up with it and see how it goes. So, um... I'm recording this just so that I can show you guys that I experiment too um, and just be willing to play guys be willing to see what else is possible because you know what I've been using my straight Reeves acrylic paints and just flow troll and just water for a long time now and um, I thought I was what watched several videos this morning and everyone had different systems about what they did so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, okay two two ounces or just over 100 mils of flow troll um, two, four ounces of Floetrol, two of PVA, and four of water, and see how that works. Because Floetrol and water, roughly, I use about half and half um, in my normal mix, but I normally just mix everything in with paint directly and don't track anything so I'm using standard flow troll and um, this is a very cheap wood glue that I picked up from the coin save and I've been told in previous videos that the quality of your wood glue def or PVA glue definitely affects your results so, this may not be the best results that I could achieve. <laughs> and four and four and two makes ten. There we go. So, I'm going to stir that up. And I'm going to use this as my mix. Uh, and just add, well, Add as much as required, really, I suppose. Um, get that all nicely mixed together. It's super runny. But this is just an experiment. So, let's see what happens with this. Um... I am also going to stop the video in a minute and just check if this is recording properly because my, I think I cracked my screen today, I dropped it. And it's flickering and flattering around, so that's a bit of a bummer. And if need be, I will change to another camera. So, I'm going to pause here and do that, and then I'll be right back with you. All right. So, it's recording fine, it's just the screen that's being silly. Alright, so we've got that mixed up. And, um, I'm just going to put that over on one side. Now, I'm going to do this really scientifically. <laughs> I'm going to do it with a measuring, with weighing. But I don't know if my scales actually are going to do it properly. There we go. Um, and the three colours I'm going to mix up today are these three. Because I'm looking to use those for a Halloween project. Um, and then I can always do a test pour as well. So, um, let's pop that on there and reset all 
Ah, uh, there we go. So I'm just going to do 50-50 um, to start with. And see how that goes. Uh, so normally what I do is I squeeze my paint in. Well, the, that's not even recording. What's right about this? I'm not getting. Okay. So, change of plans. This just seems to have died. All right. Change of plans. We're going to go small. They're really small. Too small, actually. So, where's my jug? Where's my little jug? There it is. So, it's dirty on the outside but clean on the inside, I promise. Let's get that out of the way. All right, so uh gonna do it the opposite way around this time i'm gonna put in so i've got 10 ounce in here which is like 300 mils so i'm gonna put 50 mils where are we 50 mils in and to do a 50 50 mix of course You've got to put the solid into the liquid till it reaches the hundred. So we're now going by volume rather than by weight. 50-50. Oh, crikey. Um, so, for those of you that are wondering how this compares to my normal mix, Normally I don't have PVA in it, that's a if not difference. And normally I put the paint in the tin, squirt some flow troll over top. I hope this works because this is the last of my turquoise. Oh no, I bought some more the other day. It's just not up on the shelf. So there we go. Um, and then I, I roughly do um, half flow troll to the amount of paint, and then I just top it up with water. Um, so I'm gonna now that I've got that mixed up, I'm gonna. Scrap that out into into my tin and repeat the process for the Viridian Hue and White. That is not scraping out very cleanly. I need a spatula rather than a wooden stick. Two days later. <laughs> How's it getting any better than that? Right, so I have been mixing. So why is it two days later? Well, because I was using Viridian Hue, and as per normal with Viridian Hue, it takes a while for it to absorb the water and get rid of its chunks. It's still going really, still got some lumpy bits in there, but that's okay. They'll dissolve. But basically the, oh, I haven't got the lights on, hold on, is that better? 
slightly, vaguely, maybe, no? Alright, anyway. So, this is what the 50-50 mix ended up doing. It's not quite ready yet. It needs some more liquid in there. That's not, wasn't enough. Um, what I did do, though, because doing it in the jug creates a huge amount of wastage, created this little marker tin thing. It's just one of my little sticks. And basically what you do is you get... Um, I used the jug that I was using, obviously. Um, put 50 mil in it, put this stick in and marked off where the water came to. And then I put another 50 mil in and marked off where the 100 mil came to. So now all I have to do is get my fluid and my tin and mark. 50 and 100. This is. And then I can fill them up to there. Sorry, pen a little in my mouth. Um, I can fill them up to there and I've got an easy reference. And of course I wrote on it what, um, what this is for. So if you put the marker into the little ridge at the bottom, those are going to be your marks. So I can keep that for future use and not be like wasting stuff as I mix it in one thing and then transfer it to another. So there's a hint. Anyway, so these aren't quite thin enough. Um, my next question, of course, is do I keep adding more of the pre-mix or do I um, just add water so what I just noticed in the jug I had a lid covering all of the edges so that it didn't hang and let's see if I can this has separated check that out there's obviously a heavy and a light substance in there and it's separated out um, but I know that Floetrol does that too. So if you're using Floetrol before you use it, shake the bottle. And I know also that what Floetrol does is when you shake the bottle, stuff sucks to the side and then you shake it and it pulls all that stuff on the side off. So here's the trick that I use. The little white ring that breaks off the cap when you open it. Pull it off, put a, put a panty hoe underneath, put the ring back on, and you've got a built-in strainer. Uh, I know that some people use a rubber band, elastic rubber band thing, instead of, because that in some countries apparently they don't have this ring. So, I don't know, it doesn't sound like efficiency to me to do more than one version of a pot. But anyway, doot, doot. so... Yeah, I'm going to stir that up a bit and um, this has been a really good experiment because this jug has cracked but it sat there for two days and nothing's leaked out of it so that was good to nair. Um, where did I put that? What did I do with it? Oh. Okay. Nope, that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these. Um, oh, where's the camera? There we go. One of these to suck up some moisture. Because we know that we had 50 mils in each of these. And there doesn't need to be a lot of watering down. I just want to see how much more I do need to put in to what's that another two and a half. Hmm. 
so that's another five mils so kind of running out of room in my pot to be honest Whenever you're stirring paint, mixing stuff into it, or anything really, even if you're baking, um, just scrape the sides and also scrape your stick. It's getting better. Yeah, it's actually, still feels really thick though. But it's about the same consistency as my white. Definitely not the same consistency as my green. Alright, so that's at two and a half. Let's put five mils in that as well. So this is something, guys, that you need to be aware of, is each colour, even if you're using the same brand, needs different amounts of liquid. Honestly, it's... Some of the colours will definitely... Um, yeah, you know, will use less liquid than others to get to the right consistency. As you just saw there, the white needed five mil less than the blue, and that's green. Still not quite there. Definitely better. Um, I think I might have to put a warning on this video about how much paint mixing there is. Otherwise I'll have people moaning and complaining in the comments. Well, there was a warning. If you didn't read the warning, you're a hard cheese. That's better. Alright. So, let's pop that over there. And let's pour some paint, guys. I've got this... 20 by 20 canvas which now has a smudge mark um, so 200 I'm gonna add silicon to the green and to the blue and for this I am using my Durex play perfect glide dimethicone um, it's quite a bit of paint in there so Probably about four drops. And as we all know, this is about 105 mils of paint. <laughs> so stir that through. Some of you are going, God, that's thick. Yep. I'm probably one of the thicker pourers when it um, on YouTube my paint is one of the thickest I've seen and that's okay by me so to test this I'm just going to do a stock standard flip cup um, stock standard because that's the way uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it it's a good way to test that's why so some white, 
some viridian hue oh gosh that is still too thick that is actually thicker than i normally pour and another round All right. Dun, 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 dun. So this is just a silicon. <laughs> ah, one of my gorgeous um, commenters on a previous video when she saw me using silicon muffin cases um, pointed out that apparently uh, in personal uh, sorry in adult toy paraphernalia if you're using a silicon toy they recommend not using a silicon lubricant uh, as it can affect the toy so she's a bit worried about how long my muffin cases would last <laughs> i think she was just telling me for a joke but anyway let's let this out and see what we got all right we got a very thick pile of paint and a lighter that's not lighting what's going on locked it unlocked it it's not clicking Good job I got a backup. So I'm pulling out the big ones. Ah, this is what I don't like about this gun. Yep, this paint's too thick. So that wasn't enough medium. We're getting a small amount of cells, but not much. And it still won't work. Why won't it work? That upsets me. It has gas. Let's stretch. Oh, we still got some lumps in our green. I can see them. So I'm just holding my finger on the edge just to keep some of this paint. Because what I've noticed is, even though I thought I had a lot of paint on there, I don't seem to. So I'm just going to grab this stuff that has dripped off and create a bit of a smoother surface for it to run on before I tilt it the other way okay and while that runs down the sides I'll use cleanish fingers not really <laughs> Oh, 
I'm liking this painting though, guys. This is really cool. There is a big lump in my painting though. I'm not excited about that. That's got to come out. Okay. I'm liking the way it's working. Uh, it's definitely not thin enough. I don't know whether it's just not thin enough or whether it's a different viscosity. There's a big word for you. Viscosity because of the um, Because of the PVA, just adding some more paint on there just to create a drag. One of the cool things about acrylic pouring is you can add more paint and then pour it off just to help create that almost suction type behavior Keep on. <laughs> suck it on come on there we go and we're over just pulling that down all right I like it I do like it I'm just going to wash my hands and then we will get rid of some of these lumps. All right. Just where did I put that pin down? There it is. There's a lump over here. Now most of these lumps are going to be that um, Viridian Hue, which another day in the pot and they'll be all gone. That's something I've noticed with Viridian Hue. It does that. It does like. And let's go again. See what else shows up. Oh, look at all those cells coming up there in the white. Ooh, look, got lots of cells coming, baby little titty ones. Tinny. Titty, 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 tide, tide. Oh, tiny. It was not a T-I-T, -T, it was a T-I-D. Titty. So please don't give me he heaps for using inappropriate language. You just heard it inappropriately. It's your fault. <laughs> it, it didn't, it wasn't me, Ossifer. It was their ears. They misheard me. Alright, well, I like it. I'm going to mix some more paint up, uh, more liquid in, and give my Halloween project a go. So, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Maybe tomorrow, maybe another day. 
Who knows? Who knows? But I'm going to pour that one and see what else is possible. But I'll bring you down and show you close up. Um, there's some. Hmm, it's not great cell action, but there are some interesting behaviors I want to point out. Okay. So the interesting behaviors I wanted to point out is these lines that are going through the cells. Um, there's a real shadowing effect going on. Which is quite funky. Look at that. That's weird. I don't even know what colour is under there. It almost looks burnt. It's rather pink actually. That There's a pinkness to my white. Can you notice that? Not sure what's going on with that. That looks like a, a cell with eyes. Ooh. There's a little ghosty. Hello, little ghosty. He looks scared, more scared of us than we are of him. How's it getting any better? All right, guys, I am going to let it dry. Uh, I'll be back once it's dry to show you the results. Let's have a look. Ta-da! Well, it has dried very nicely. No cracking or crazing or any weird wonky stuff happening in it. So super pleased about that. Um, I'm, yeah, quite liking this mix. I'm not really sure what putting the PVA adds to it. Um, but I suppose what this does do is it does give those of you that are after a formula... <laughs> um, a recipe as such I've never been able to give people a recipe um, but this kind of gives you a recipe of uh, what, how to mix your paints really um, so hopefully this has been a contribution to some of you um, and I hope that you are loving these colors why because <laughs> i've been using them a lot <laughs> <laughs> you've got a few videos coming if you follow me on instagram um at mickey art um then <laughs> you'll have seen a few of the creations that i've made in the process with using up this paint and uh i am loving it I, I just love these colors anyway so really it's it's such a gift to have colors you love play well and um yeah i will leave this for a couple of weeks to completely set uh i always find that by doing that um the paint is cured and isn't going anywhere when i then wash it to get the silicon off and uh, then I will seal it. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I, I will definitely put a tag on the beginning saying pouring doesn't start till X number of minutes in, <laughs> if I remember. Um, and yeah, yeah, totally come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. What else is possible when you're willing to ask questions and create your life and your living and your artwork from choice, question and possibility. I adore you all. Bye-bye.